in Camlis, Best Rock 98.3 CIFN. And we got uh, some special guests in the studio. Yes, we do. Some of the guys from Forum. Blaine, the lead singer, is here. Yes. Corey, the drummer. Yes. And uh, Corey, you got a special guest coming in tonight at Long and McQuaid. We do, yeah. We brought in uh, from Hurricane drummer Mike Hansen. Yes. And uh, all the way from Hollywood, California. Uh huh. So How did you guys meet? We met through a mutual friend. Oh, okay. Once, once we launched Cymbal Socks, um, we had a mutual friend say... Who, you know, who's some, the mutual friend? Uh, Peggy Young, actually. Oh, okay. Peggy, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh great local. Friend local yeah, friend. Local friend, yeah. Peggy's been great. Okay, so, quit yanking on my cord. Hey, <laughs> who's God, that? Get that? Drummers. That. <laughs> and, and it begins. <laughs> Another mischievous and musician. <laughs> Yeah. And so Corey's so, here for, uh, you're going to play with Forum tomorrow night at the Grotto as well, do some drumming. Yeah, I'm really excited to yeah. be here, you know, and uh, all the way from L.A. They mm -hmm. flew me in to do this, and yeah. I've been up for like 72 hours right now. But, this uh, is like L.A. weather out there too, I guess, huh? Uh, yeah, Gotta actually last this. week, I don't know the Celsius thing, but we were like at 108, 112 <laughs> last yeah, week. Yeah, it was yeah. like you couldn't touch things no, or whatever. not even myself. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty That's bad. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it ruined my love life. It was so hot. <laughs> Hello, hand. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know why you've got an interesting history. We're talking about hurricane, but you started like as a kid, and your dad taught you how to play. Is that? Is yeah, that yeah. Deal? Well, he he made me play. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah well, he played for that. Barbara Mandrell. Or yeah, something? he guitar was a guitar player, player for Barbara. Uh -huh. and, and, Interesting. Uh, but I, you were I, I, like on Hee Haw <clears throat> and things like that when you were like 11 years old. Yep. Yeah, I was that little prodigy kid during the summer months when my kids were playing, uh, you know, out in the sandbox. I was making money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did that affect your life in the in the long term? In a sense, like you became a musician and you're around. You're you had a, a lot of people that you play with from the Texas Playboys to Roy Clark, who's a right. You know, a lot of people think Hee Haw. That guy was like a great guitar player. Oh, yeah. A great guitar player. Yeah, he was so. pretty serious. I mean, being on a TV show, you know, people see him as the, the old family. That was our family shows. That's yeah. what we watched back then. Yeah. And then the Sonny and Cher show used to come on, remember? And, yeah. Uh -huh. But, yeah. Uh, I'll stop it, you, babe. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and, no, you don't, Sonny. She <laughs> left you. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. It's funny how life is. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> anyway, but, uh, you know, like, with this background and, and you know, did it change your life? Like, the way that you, you didn't go to school like other kids went to school. You had other things on your mind. Well, you know, I did. I mean, I went to school in the summer. is the only time I took off to do those those kind of things. But, um... You know, I had friends, you yeah. know, uh -huh. um, but I didn't, I was very kind of quiet about my music life. You know, everybody knew me in school as this, you know, the drummer dude, you know, and, yeah. you know, and I was an athlete too. I, I wrestled and did track and stuff like that too. But, you know, when times came when there was competitions for like state championships and stuff, then, you know, I was the big dude in, at the school that yeah. would do, everybody knew me as this drummer dude. So, <laughs> but I never really talked about that stuff too much and. You know, I used to play local club gigs when I was home. So when I was like 12, 13, 14, my dad used to have me come play with his three-piece country band all the time when he was off the road. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of funny because sometimes I'd come up to my teachers and go, Hey, Mrs. Such-and-Such, -such, hey, you guys want to come to the club and see me play? And they'd look at me like they didn't even know how to respond to that. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see my teacher drinking in a bar <laughs> as their student <laughs> is playing drums right that's really you know so that never happened yeah i tried but it never yeah. happened and then the, then when like christmas came around and my band teacher would say um you ever see that movie uh, whiplash it was it was about that kid drummer and then he got yeah. kind of harassed yeah, around yeah. well i actually lived that life because yeah. I had a couple of band directors that, you know, really put me down a couple of times that said that I wouldn't amount to anything. And I, I, would never, I yeah. Same thing. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, you just, you got to keep, you got to believe in yourself and just yeah. keep moving forward, you know, and I did it. And so... Did you ever, uh, there's a story about you uh, punching a teacher. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in seventh did grade, you have this I punched kind my of, teacher you, out. Why did you punch him out? Well... Because he, well, first of all, I didn't like taking drum lessons from him. Yeah, you know, during my, I'm in an English class and he's pulling me out of a major class, and then that's the way it ran back in the day. You know, yeah. I was like, why are you taking me out of a class when, you know? And I was always ahead of all the kids. I could read it, you know, anything and do it. Well, so what happened was he pulled me out one day and he got really mad at me, and he put me in the band room and he's like, you know what? He goes, drummers like you come a dime a dozen, and he goes, your dad ruined you as a drummer, and he got. A fist full of knuckles right in his face <laughs> and i was seven i was in seventh grade man i knocked him cold turkey on the ground Ooh. 
And I and I walked out, and the three other guys had their ears to the door, and I opened it. You seem like scatter like mice. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, "Hey, you guys can go into your lesson now." Yeah. And I walked out, went back to my room, and I I actually managed to get. Did they throw get, you out? Of no, school? not that day. So not I went, that no, day. Not that day. <laughs> so I got I got to get home, and I told my parents what happened, and they got really mad. And actually, to be quite honest with you, he almost got fired for that, and I didn't get I didn't get suspended. Oh, really? Yeah, because. You can't do that to people. Yeah. I mean, even though I mean today I would have been expelled from school. You don't punch yeah. teachers out, but but if you ever move, see the movie Whiplash, that's that's pretty much. I, I think a it. lot of people that went through early early music seriously had teachers. That was the way it was. Like they beat the hell yeah, out of you. Yeah, back in the you day, know? you know, it was it crazy. Wasn't like great job, Johnny. No. <laughs> you sure kicked that ball. <laughs> yeah. You know, come on. It's not like that now. No, no, no. And, and you know, life has changed too. I mean. You know, yeah. it's a whole different world compared to what we're talking about this moment. This yeah. is, you know, this is in the late seventies, early eighties. Uh -huh. So, but oh, yeah, I'm talking I mean, about the late fifties, <coughs> early sixties. <laughs> yeah, but now you're giving it away. See, uh -huh. <laughs> who cares? So the Indies are playing with Hurricane, or actually, you just started playing with Hurricane. I guess the last ten years. Yeah, is it? And they're been, on the road still. Uh, we we've been on the road a couple of years ago. We went out with Queensrÿche, mm -hmm. and, okay. and Robert Sarzo was playing with his brother Rudy Sarzo in Jeff Tate's Queensryche thing. So what happened was Jeff needed a, a warm-up band, you know, an, an opener, and, and Robert's like, hey, why don't we just get Hurricane to do it? So oh, okay. Jeff was so nice. And um, he's like, yeah, bring him on. So we had 15 of us on one bus. So we had... <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is <laughs> correct. Yeah. And we were on this old Silver Eagle bus. I called it Chitty Chitty Bang Bang because it kept breaking down all the time. And um, it was the old bus from... Uh, Hell Freezes Over tour. Oh, from, yeah, the, from Eagles. the Eagles. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, if Walls could only talk in that bus, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Listen, I spent two nights at Joe Walsh's house. <laughs> you you know, oh, right? uh, that was pretty interesting. Anyway, we'll yeah. keep you here for a little bit. Okay. Is that okay? Uh, or Absolutely. do you have to you go? Guys in a hurry? Yeah. No, You're no. Playing no tonight, I'm, uh, I'm here till Sunday. As long as I catch the plane on Sunday, I'm here. Oh, yeah, okay. stay, stay. So stay on the air. Thank okay. you. Um, I think we got a song from Hurricane coming yeah, up. Yeah, coming up. All right. Kelly's Best Rock, 98.3 CIFM, and Hurricane. And the song is called, uh, what was the song called again? That's Little Sister. Little Sister? Mm -hmm. Little Sister, okay. Dance. Dance Little, Little sister. sister, that's it, yes. Yeah. I'm trying to help. I mean, I... I know, yeah. I, I'm trying to be of assistance. <laughs> you're doing fine, Hank. Oh, thank First you. First day back, you're okay. Yeah. And uh, what year was that, anyway? Mike that Hansen. was like... 85? 85, right okay, yeah. 86, yeah. Right Middle right. of the 80s. Yeah. 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 And you said the lead singer now, uh, Kelly, Kelly Hansen. Yep, not related no, to no me. No relation. No relation to me, but everybody thinks. I just tell everybody there's my third cousin. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Kelly's out with Foreigner now, man. For he's the last with 10 Foreigner. years. Yep. Wow. Yeah, and he's okay. perfect for that gig. Yeah. yeah. He's killing it. He's doing a fantastic job. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Lou, Graham, just... Lou Graham's had all, all kinds of health issues. and Yeah, poor guy. We, yeah, we talk sometimes. We um we Facebook each other and we say hi to each other, you know. Mm -hmm. We were trying to put something together at one time and, you know, he's just... he's. He's just dealing with his demons, man. You know, he's, but he's out there. He's playing. Yeah, he is playing. But he he's had all kinds yeah. of things, man. Dude, that on. guy is one of the best singers in the world. Yeah, man. he is. Yeah, unbelievable. Yes. And what are you doing these days? You're doing some. You're still rocking with Hurricane. They're still on tour. Hurricane is putting. A, we just got a new singer. I won't tell you who it is yet. He's uh -huh. not anybody you guys know. He's a, he's an he's somebody that's not even known. Which is the way we wanted to do it this time. We were just getting tired of having people play with us that has like you know 20 bands behind them you know and mm -hmm. it's like you know it's kind of missing it you know we want to give we wanted to give somebody a chance in the music business mm -hmm. you know speaking of like we were on the last minute ago talking about you know being strong in life and believing in yourself and we just felt like kind of like the way journey did it with their new singer you know and so that's kind of what we did and we found this really good guy and um you know he, he's he's gonna be great and um and he's mm -hmm. never had a break before and we thought that we'd give somebody a chance in the music industry to to do well and, and maybe help people and do something new, you know, make a f have some fresh clean slate going on. Yeah. You know? yeah. Didn't I hear he's talking about Spanish rock and roll 
or well, something like that earlier? Well, what we're going to do... With well, the singer is Hispanic. Yeah, there's Hispanic, three yeah. now. We got... Alvarez. Adios, muchachos, compañeros, de mi vida. With a heavy metal background. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. That's it. Uh-huh. See? I, like, I'm psychic. We're going to do a little bando machos. You know? So a little manan and all that stuff yeah. together combined. But that's great because, you know what, South America... Uh, is probably one of the last places, uh, along with Europe, that re- they value rock still. Right? Yeah. And huge crowds. Yeah, so huge we're, crowds. we're looking to do the new record. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, you just spilled everything <laughs> oh, all shit. over the place. <laughs> oh, uh, we need some paper towels here. Kayla, run! <laughs> that Jameson cost a lot of money. I need an executive assistant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. so we, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put together this new record, and we're going to release a single, too. Okay. Um, but what we decided to do is because the new singer is Hispanic, so we've got Alvarez now, Cavazo, which is Tony in the band, mm-hmm. and Rudy and Robert Sarzo. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. What's that? Your headphones? Yeah. Oh, you put it on your headphones? No, I'm just mimicking Uh-oh. a flamingo. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> That sounds like Chewbacca Listen and Heat. This. I know. It's like Star Wars going on. I spilled a little coffee on this stuff. Yeah. Oh, God. Where's engineering? Uh, that's pretty funny. Uh, hey, the space shuttle oh, has landed. Guy's, this guy's burning right up. I can see it. Oh, no. Yeah, it's beautiful. I can hear that. No, I don't know if it's on the air. Mike, I'm so sorry, that, but this is live radio. <laughs> it sounds like we're on Jeopardy and somebody just lost. <laughs> That's exactly what it sounds like. This sounds like my colonoscopy. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. A little tighter? A little tighter. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Two fingers or three? <laughs> anyway, Mike, tonight you're doing a drum session. It's open to everybody uh, yes, along the McQuaid, yes, 7 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock. We've got a lot of giveaways. Uh, Corey Evans and, and Blaine, they're, they're from... <laughs> can they hear us, do you think? Yeah, we're good now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, Symbol Socks has brought us here. He's got a great product for the symbols. you got to yeah. check it out. We're going to demonstrate the Symbol Socks, show people what it is. Um, a lot of my sponsors really stepped up, and we've got lots of giveaways. We've got a PA system to give away. Yes, I heard. Wow, PA some, system. Yeah, same, that was like Pretty psychedelic nice. there. <laughs> wow. It Man, went away. There's coffee pouring out of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it, really. it's actually smoking right now. It's actually on. You know what? I it's more paper it's smoking. Oh, dude, it's bad. Well, there's a little kind of fire going on. <laughs> yeah, there's some smoke here. Uh, I was wondering if we could just uh, uh-huh. interrupt this just for a second and call the fire department. Anyway, Mike, be good. Con- uh, looking forward to the show tonight. Uh, and, and of course, and the grotto tomorrow. Say, right? The grotto yeah. on Friday. Yeah, and I'm going to play Friday and Saturday. I come down tomorrow night with Forum. Okay, That'd so. Be awesome. It's going to be fun. I'm going to sit in and play some songs. And I'll have some merchandise. I brought a bunch of Hurricane stuff okay. uh, with me to those people that are fans. And I have I have shirts and, and <coughs> drum heads that are signed from all the guys in the band. Oh, thanks. And okay. I also have, what, the, what they call them, koozies, the things around for your drinks. Oh, yeah. Your, yeah, yeah, I have all those signed. And <laughs> I have stickers. So just to let you know, I've got a bunch of stuff here. And it's all and signed open to anybody. for the collectors. That's open right. to anybody. Okay. Free. 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 A Long great word. Tonight. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mike Hansen, nice talking to you. Thanks Thank for you coming guys. by. Thank all you. right.